Hello and thank you for watching Two Wheels, One Compass. My name is Jimmy and you're here for a special edition called Operation Maxim. What we're doing today is we are going out to my hometown, out to my mom and dad's place. My dad has a motorcycle. It is a 1983 Midnight Maxim. And this guy has been sitting in the garage collecting dust full time for my entire life. There's so many things wrong with it and it's not, it's been just sitting there. And it's one of those dad projects where it sits back there and he's like, eh, I'll get around to it, I'll get around to it. Well, I'm gonna get around to it. What I've done is I've contacted Empire Cycle in Loretto, Minnesota. And they're gonna be coming and picking up my dad's motorcycle while he's out of the house without his knowledge. So what we did last night is we took a ton of boxes that we've saved up from Amazon orders and taped them up. They'll be used to take the shape of a bike as much as possible because right now the bike is covered in a tarp to kind of make it look like it's unsightly and just wants to be covered. But the reason that my uh, mother actually covered it a few weeks ago, we're going to be putting a bunch of cardboard boxes there to make it look like a bike. It should hopefully just be enough to make it look like there's still something there in the corner of his eye. Okay, here it is. This is what needs to move. This all needs to get out of the way. Hey Mike. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get this all out of the way. They're going to come in to take it away and then we're going to put it all back. So we got to get started now. Let's do this. If he does end up uncovering the tarp and he sees that there's a bunch of boxes, it has my name and address on them. So he's going to know that I had something to do with it. So there is a fail safe like if all of a sudden every, he thinks that something was stolen out of his house by a complete stranger. It would confuse the hell out of me to know, like, why would somebody want my broken bike and steal nothing else, so. Now the boxes, now the diversion. Yeah, that looks like a bunch of boxes under a tarp. Is that a handlebar over there? <laughs> All right, so Empire Cycle is going to come and pick up the bike. How you doing? Just peachy. Yeah, it is. At least for now. I made a GoFundMe and sent it to a lot of friends and coworkers and family members. Here are some of the sponsors that helped out my dad. Thank you very much for doing this. This is, you know, your adventure too. You help with this also. This is Operation Maxim.
Okay, I'm gonna call the house phone. I'm freaking, I'm freaking shaking right now. Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's do this. Home. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get something out of my car here, and I, I need an extra pair of hands. Can you come outside? Yeah, I'm right outside. Yeah. All right, bye. Something outside, and he needs another pair of hands. I feel the gag coming on here. He's pulling something on me. Pulling something on me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? There it is. That's my bike. I got it fixed for you. <laughs> Son of a. Bitch. It's ready to go. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> How did you uh, get it here? Uh, well, we had it shipped in and everything. We got it on a trailer. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what did you put under there? Boxes. <laughs> Holy shit! It's ready to go. Wow. Where'd you take it? We haven't, you, you gotta start it up. Okay. <laughs> Let me get a hoodie. Let me get a hoodie. Yeah, everything should be roadworthy, ready to go. And they say that it starts up really nice. All the electric was perfect. Uh, the, any parts that they thought that they had to order, they didn't have to. Um, <laughs> and it's got a choke, a manual A choke, a manual choke. God, I gotta remember how to start this thing. Michael helped too. We had to sneak it out of there. Oh, I suppose. If you like that video and you're interested in history, travel, motorcycles, camping, or armchair travel infotainment, stop on by the YouTube channel Two Wheels One Compass. There's already hours of content on my trip to the Pacific and back from Minnesota, and if you subscribe, you'll see all the next steps on the journey. Thanks for watching.